is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. I'm fresh out of the shower because today I am reviewing a sort of like a hair dryer product for you guys. Uh, this is honestly not my first time recording this. I recorded this sometime last week and then when I was editing it, I'm just, there's a learning curve with my new camera and I just have not figured out like how well the sound records and what's too loud and what's not loud enough and like the sound quality was just terrible, whatever. Long story short, I'm re-recording it so it's not a first impressions video, but today I am sharing with you this Revlon like hair dryer, salon one step hair dryer and volumizer product. Uh, the box is very fancy, honestly the box is a little bit excessive. This all of this like packaging enhancements, honestly, this box almost dropped it. This box honestly costed Revlon like four or five dollars per box. So it definitely could have been cheaper if Revlon did not splurge on this box. But let's just jump into it. So this is what the hairbrush hair dryer thing looks like right out of the box. It basically looks like you know, a, like a round brush tool, except it's actually oval, if you guys can see that. It's actually an oval tool, and on the back are your, like, heat settings, so it's off, low, high, and cool. I don't know what order it's in, but yeah, so you just, like, turn this, and it literally sounds like a hair dryer. So it, it basically is a hair brush-shaped hair dryer, you know what I mean? Anyway, so my hair is wet because I just got out of the shower and I figured I would give you sort of like a demo. Let's time how long it takes to use this thing. My hair is pretty low maintenance to be honest with you guys. I blow dry my hair upside down and it is naturally straight. And yeah, let's, let's do this here. So for any product, I actually use this Maui Moisture. This is their Thicken and Restore Blowout Mist for weak and brittle hair. My hair is just so long that it just breaks, honestly, sometimes. I don't do a very good job of brushing it, which I think this product will help me like actually brush my hair more. I don't use any heat, pro uh, heat protection products. I probably should, to be honest, but I don't. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the high option. I feel like I'm like sideways now. I'm going to go ahead and use the high because that's what I usually use with the blow dryer. So here we go. So this is what my hair looks like basically like right out of the hair dryer no matter which hair dryer I use and I can show you it is like literally my hair is just naturally straight I mean all the way down to like the ends that is just like I'm Asian and like that's just the hair that I was born with um, it's really low maintenance which I really like and yeah this hairbrush probably looks pretty gross now because like it actually has like my hair tangled up in here like a normal brush would. But I think what I will also do is I'm going to like maybe scoop this way and just maybe like post a picture or something on this side of the screen and just show you guys the difference between when I use this Revlon hair dryer product and a regular hair dryer. Honestly, I feel like they both get the job done. I just feel like the hair dryer actually gives me a little bit more volume and my hair dryer is like strangely aggressive. Sorry, my hair is really slick right after I blow dry it so if I don't like continuously touch it and move it, it just like falls all over my face. Anyway, I feel like, yeah, the hair that I have right now using this product I don't feel like is as voluminous as when I use a hair dryer just because I don't know why. Like it just feels different, you know what I mean? I uh, let me just like go through a little bit of pros and cons here. So, 
Pros of this Revlon product is that if you're really bad at brushing your hair like me, this thing is phenomenal. Like my hair is tangle free right now and when I'm done with the hair dryer, that is not the case. Like when I comb my fingers through my hair after using a normal hair dryer, it is like knotted up. I am like breaking hair to like get it all like, you know, out versus my hair is very nice and tangle free right now. But the problem is I do have, like, I clean this right before I use this, but I have so much hair, like, stuck on this brush. And essentially you're, like, brushing and blow-drying your hair while it's still wet, and your hair is very weak when it's wet. So maybe that's a con, is that you are, like, using this to brush your hair when it's wet, and your hair is more breakable. And that's probably why, like, I lost so much to this brush. So now that I'm listing pros and cons, I feel like I have more cons than pros. I mean, the pro is that this thing costs like $50 or $60, so it doesn't really cost more than a hair dryer. And if your hair is a little bit more high maintenance than, maintenance than mine, which a lot of people's hair is, and you can like benefit from like it pulling your hair straight down while you're blow drying it, uh, then I think this is totally worth investing in. But the, so I used the high option this whole time and I did try out the cool option on more than one occasion and the cool option on my hair dryer actually gives me like somewhat of a cold air but through this product the cool is actually just kind of like a room temperature air so it doesn't really set your hairstyle so that function is basically useless. And then the thing with the hair dryers is like it makes me really warm while I blow dry my hair but not as warm as this. So if you can see, there's like openings all around this brush. I'm sorry, this is really gross right now because my hair is all over it. But that basically means like there's like a 360 degree like hot air coming out. And when you're like blow drying your hair, maybe like this, where part of the brush is literally facing towards you, there's like hot air just like blowing into your face. And if you are the type of person that gets really warm from a hair dryer, this will probably make you even warmer. I don't know if I touched on the time it takes me to blow dry my hair versus using this product. My hair dryer takes me about honestly like five-ish minutes to blow dry my hair at 10 if I don't do a good job of like toweling it off. This product took me 10 minutes today and so I don't think it saves time, although a lot of reviews online do say that this product dries hair really quickly. I didn't find that to be the case for me, but then again, my hair is very low maintenance and I basically almost got the same end product with this versus a hair dryer. I mean, that's pretty much it for this. I mean, it was like a base, very basic tutorial. I mean, honestly, if my hair was like higher maintenance, this video probably would have taken longer, but this is just how my hair is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button here before you go if you enjoyed it. I mean, I don't really regret buying it because my hair dryer is so old, but I don't think this thing is a must-have. So that's like my final verdict, unless you very specifically am using this for styling purposes. But then keep in mind that like the cool function isn't that great and you can't use it to set. So that's it. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!